You see, real love that comes from God is not just obligatory. It's not something that you just kind of do out of a sense of duty. But rather, it is compulsory. It comes from within where you, you feel something and you are compelled to act on their behalf. You see, all three of the men in that parable that we just read, they all saw the man who was beaten. Every time, it says the priest, he saw them, the person, and he passed by. The Levite saw him, and he passed by. And, and what did the, the, the Samaritan do? He saw him, and then it says he took pity on him. He took pity on him. Something in that Samaritan's heart, something in that Samaritan's heart was moved to action. And so when we think of love and the way that we experience it, um, there's a way for us to kind of think about it too much in the extreme of an emotion, right? Where, oh, I love this person, and it might not actually manifest in like actions, but rather we just kind of feel like, we, we just, love is something you feel, right? Um, and on the other hand, there's another extreme where we can be so trying not to do that, that we actually think, oh, love is just an action. Love is an action and nothing more. It's not something you feel, it's something you do. Um, both of these have their place. And in fact, love can be both. Love is something that we can feel, that we can experience internally that compels us toward a person in order to love them with action. Love can come from a place in our feelings, in our heart, in our emotions, and then if it's real love, it's actually going to result in action for that person, though. And in Colossians 3, this is talking to, to, it says, as God's chosen ones, this is God's people, this is the church. If you're a follower of Jesus, this applies to you. As God's chosen ones, holy and dearly loved, put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Those, those things that he just listed there, these are all internal aspects of our heart. These are attitudes that we have toward other people. These aren't things that you, you necessarily are acting upon right now. But these are things that we, we feel. We, we have compassion. I'm, I'm kind toward you. I, I want to have a humble spirit toward you and be gentle and patient. And then as we, as we keep looking, it says, bearing with one another, forgiving one another, if anyone has a grievance against another. They, we, we, let our, our emotions and the way that God uses them and designs them to compel us, we allow them to compel us toward action. And that doesn't excuse us from doing the right things that we ought to do in our willpower when the time comes, but ultimately it, we should operate in some kind of capacity to where we are feeling, we are expressing some kind of love from within. And so, and like I said earlier, all people are made in the image of God. All people are made in the image of God. And so if we love God, right, it is right for us to compassionately respond to the physical and spiritual and emotional needs of others. If we love God, it is right for us to compassionately respond to the physical and spiritual and emotional needs of others. In Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, Jesus, another story with him, where he sees a crowd of people. This is in verses 36 through 38. And he sees the crowd. And it says in the text, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. That's what it tells us. And in this moment, we see something happen within Jesus where his heart is moved deeply in, in order to respond and his whole ministry was in response, in action to the people that needed his help, that needed his love, that needed salvation. And so he responded in that way, but it did come from somewhere within. He responded with compassion, and he was cut to the heart by that because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. As we see emotional needs around us, as we see spiritual needs around us, as we see physical needs around us, it's okay. It is right for us to respond with love in an emotional sense, in a sense that is not callous toward these needs around us. So we're to love our neighbor compassionately. 